Hey y'all, Bob here from Fins and Finds, and today we've got a little bit different video for you today. Today we're going to turn this into this. Well, I've been eating the kayak trailer for quite a while now. We've got four kayaks for the family, and when I'm taking my pickup truck, it's not too much of an issue, except for it's not a good idea to pack it like this. Because over time, something's definitely going to break. What I was really needed in a kayak trailer was something that was easy maneuverable, something my wife can handle on her own when I'm not available, and also something that I can store in the garage. I don't have any room out here at my house to put a trailer out in the driveway, and lightweight, that was the biggest thing. I needed a trailer that would fit at least three kayaks minimum, because I have a Hobie Pro Angler 12, a Hobie Pro Angler 14, and Jackson Mayfly. Uh, the fourth kayak I have, if we go, I'll always be going on those trips and we can throw that in the bed of my truck. I also needed a trailer that was compact enough to fit inside of my garage, folded up, and stored upright. Now, this trailer is not designed to be that way, but everything I can see online, the pictures of it and stuff, I don't see any reason why I can't put along this wall here, stand it up, might have to bolt it down a little bit, you know, so it doesn't fall over, but if she fit my garage and still be able to fit in the three cars in here like we normally do. After doing a lot of research, I did narrow it down to three different trailers I was really considering. Um, one of them was the Malone Microsport. That one is designed, some of the versions, to stand up like that. Problem was I would not be able to fit three kayaks on there without doing a second layer, and that's hard to remove to stand it up. The other two are both the Yakimas, the Easy Rider, which is the one I bought, and also the Rack and Roll. Rack and Roll is a real nice trailer too. But again, just the one level, I would not fit three kayaks on there very easily. And the other problem with that one is the weight capacity. With these two Hobie Pro Anglers, they're very heavy kayaks. And I would have to immediately upgrade the shocks and upgrade the crossbars. And by then, you, the price is already more than what the Easy Rider was. So now let's get to building this thing. We'll see the truth. If this really is the best kayak trailer for me, fit the Pro Anglers and the other kayak like I expected to, and be able to store up there and be light enough and maneuverable for my wife to do. Okay, I was reading some places online that says it takes about 45 minutes to get this thing installed. That definitely did not include unpacking time because it took me a long time to unpack this thing. It was packed very well. Very impressed with it, actually. I did want to mention that I did buy this as an open box lighter from Rack Warehouse, which saved me a significant amount of money. But uh, everything seems to be here just fine. Packed just fine like the, from the factory. Very impressed, but here it is. Well, so far so good. A few of these parts are a little bit cumbersome if you're by yourself, but it's manageable. And the uh, hardest thing so far has been a few of these are bolts need a specific torque. Luckily I had a torque wrench and it's not too hard, but you gotta be careful with what you're doing. So far so good. Okay, well it's starting to look like something now, look at that. Now let's finish it. Done. Okay, here's what I ended up going with. Um, just kind of connected to the ceiling there. 
you can see it's a little bit of angle but plenty of room to still park in the garage here the issue i had was is if i try to stand this all the way straight up it got too way too heavy something my wife couldn't do on her own but having this angle here lifting it up to this point here is actually pretty easy to do i'm actually sitting hold this thing up with one finger if i needed to so i just put a heavy duty eye bolt there just connects into the frame right there i'm gonna get a different strap fits in here it's easy lift for my wife to do or my daughters and still plenty of room to park in the garage here so it's gonna do what i wanted to do okay as you see it's all set up now i'm gonna go a little overview for you obviously it's two levels here i got the big hat saddles to the top level i wanted to put on the bottom level but hobie is so tall i just could not fit it in there and get it you know clear that it's got nice aluminum wheels Swing away tongue, nice handle. I think it's really easy to move. I'll show you that here in a minute, also. I did opt for the spare tire kit and it just goes right there. I tell you what, it fits these kayaks nicely. View if you want to see the. It's got nice independent shocks here. Of course, on the other side, lights work just fine. I'm gonna do a little test drive. You'll get to see how that goes. Also, I'm gonna get a little footage now. I'll be driving around the neighborhood. We'll see how well the kayaks ride on the trailer and how well it tracks. Seem to track pretty well, nice and smooth. Barely noticed it was back behind this truck. But I'm gonna hit you now, I'll show you easy as to move again. Now, like I said, even for one person, it's pretty simple to move. Just pick up your handle. As long as you got clearance, we'll just walk this right into the garage. Simple as that. I'll well, give you a few specs on this trailer. The weight limit on this trailer is 500 pounds, uh, 350 pounds for the top level using the included Yakima HD bars. And I'll get my opinion so far is that it is true what they say about this trailer. It is a very nice trailer, well built, lightweight, easily manageable. Um, as far as putting together, it did take me longer than 45 minutes, as you can probably tell from the video. It took me, you know, several hours, but it was easy for one person to do all by themselves. And uh, for what I need it for, for hauling three or more kayaks, and also something I can store in the corner of the garage easily and still get cars in here, this thing fits exactly what I wanted to do. So the truth is this trailer is definite buy. 
I recommend it. I also plan to do a follow-up video after I get some more time on this trailer, get some highway mileage on it, some highway speeds, loading and unloading multiple times at the lake. Um, you know, if it's everything I think it's going to be, it's going to be another good review. If there's any issues, after time using it, I'll know better, and we'll report it then. Thanks for watching.